y'all. Lisa would find us camping here. Today we're going to bring you another featured camper tour for CamperReport.com. This video is made possible by Dodd RV in Yorktown, Virginia. They're letting us use their unit for this video, so thank you Dodd RV. And today's tour is going to be of a Solitude ST390RK. This camper has a ton of storage, both inside and out. We're gonna start taking you around the outside, show you what it's got to offer. So you can tell by the size of this door, this is gonna be big. So this is your pass-through storage for the underbelly. There is cable and satellite hookup here, along with a receptacle. Um, this is a motion light, it's turned off, but so typically when you open a door, the light would come on. Um, and then this is the back side of your central vac for inside. This compartment, of course, is your gas bottle. There'll be another one on the other side. This is also where you can access your leveling system. It has six point hydraulic auto level. Don't skip on the Rockford Fosgate outdoor marine grade speakers. And an awning that runs the front half of the camper. And then there's two slides that pretty much cover the back side. A little storage here in the front. Not as big as the other one, but still a nice size storage area. This is where your batteries are gonna be, your hydraulic fluid for your auto level. And then it does come with the more ride pin box. Again, this is going to be a glass bottle just like the other side. And then we're going to come in to this side has a magnet to hold it open. And this is where your auto level controls are going to be. And then this side does not have a magnet, so you're going to want to be careful. It has a stopper here, so hopefully it won't swing back. But this is where you're going to um, do everything water. So this is where your tanks are to flush and dump. This is where your water hookup is. It has a built-in water filter. And everything here, you just, um, it's kind of color coordinated. So depending on what function you want to do, you turn the knobs to match the picture. Right here is also going to be your hot water heater and your discharge for your heat. And this is where you're going to plug into power. So this is a 50 amp service. Then we're going to come back here and check out the storage on the back side. So that's this side. You'll notice this front piece has, um, goes all the way through and it has an easy reel for your power cord. And then if you need to put more stuff in here, In the back you have the big Morai drawer. Pretty sure our kayaks would fit on here and then fit into the front if need be. So we have a toy hauler, but if you didn't have a golf cart, if your toys were smaller like kayaks or maybe even bikes or e-bikes, you could probably fit them here. Also note while we're back here, there is a trailer hitch. So if you had a bike rack you wanted to put back there, you can. And then this side looks much like the other side. Tons of storage space. And an outside receptacle. Let's see what the inside's all about. Before we get inside, I should say that this has the Moride um, step above, they're called. So easy lift, it does have the assist. So literally, one hand, you can lift and set the stairs up. Right in the door is gonna be the Lippert One Control. So you can control all of your lights and everything there. And then right above that is gonna be your tanks and slide controls. Again, more storage. There's two cabinets here. 
that both have hanging rods in them. So whether it be a coat closet or whether you just need extra storage, you've got that. The living room. So you have opposing slides, opposing couches. These both fold in, they're trifold beds. And then you have the theater seating over here. And then across from your theater seating is this huge wall that's finished out in wood with your TV, your entertainment center, and your fireplace. So a couple things that I really love about this solitude is uh, number one, no carpet, which means sometimes the slides get a little tricky, but not here. They're still flush slides, so there's no step up and there's no carpet. Another thing as you're looking down at the floor is there's no heating vents in the floor. They are in the wall. So on this big wooden wall, there's one here that blows out. And then over by the theater seating, there's another big duct right there. And you'll notice there's a receptacle beside the theater seating for charging or whatever. And then both sides of the theater seating where the controls are, they have a USB port so you can charge there as well. They do all have the dark blinds. And then again, more storage. So there's gonna be storage over the sofa over here. And these are pretty deep cabinets. Let's check out the bedroom. I'll save my favorite part for last. So this bathroom has tons of storage. All this here, this huge residential size shower with seating, the storage bins in the corner and the amazing shower head and water system over there. There is a towel rack here on the wall, which is nice. Doesn't seem like a big thing, but a lot of them don't have that. So that's a big deal. Tons of cabinets, cabinets under both sinks. Drawers in the middle. And of course the dual vanity. Medicine cabinets on both sides. And the backlit mirror is also a nice little added feature. The master bedroom has a king size bed with, you guessed it, storage underneath. There's deep storage over there and then a shallow one. Um, again, these little compartments are becoming more known for firearms and jewelry. And then it has this little pull out bench with more storage underneath. You still have a dresser with six drawers that are fully extendable and yet another hidden storage compartment. TV up top. This closet has both the rod up top and the shelves. This is also where your washer or dryer would go if you decided to install one. So you, you know, if you got an all in one, then you maybe could just have it down here and still keep your up top. If you got a stackable, you'd lose this whole closet area, but no worries. You still have a huge closet area over here with the rod all the way across, lots of shelving in there to put stuff on. And then both sides of the bed have a nightstand and both sides have a receptacle and USB ports. Another neat thing that I just caught my eye, the stairs both here and leading into the kitchen have these little motion sensor lights on them. So when you get to the stairs, the lights are going to come up. Another cool thing is that they actually have a railing. So many um, RVs have stairs, but no railing. So let's check out my favorite part, the kitchen. I'll start over here with this... Um, countertop area here that would be great so for us personally it would be great for a workspace with our laptops um, we could sit up in these chairs and have this counter area if you'll notice there's holes cut through because underneath there are receptacles and USB ports on both sides and then underneath this counter is also where the heating duct is to come up here so again not in the floor in the wall huge huge cabinets. I'm always looking for a cabinet that'll hold my crock pot. A lot of people have Instapots, air fryers, um, big microwave, lots of cabinet space, I mean counter space, 
And then this is going to have your um, receptacles and USB ports. More cabinets up here. More cabinets down here. There's just not enough to be said about all of the cabinet and drawer space in this camper. I'm not going to take the tape off, but this um, is the sink that has a half divider in the middle. So it is the um, stainless sink. Again, cabinets, 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 more and more storage. It has the side-by-side -side fridge and freezer. Can we all just take a minute to be excited about the Insignia residential size style stove? So you get a four burner stove and the full size oven, which so many people miss in their RV is that full size oven. There is a cabinet and drawers on the island. So like, I just can't say enough about how much space there is. So this is the one for the trash can. But again, the drawers. Another little piece of under lighting there, which that seems to be everywhere in here. And then I'm guessing these cabinets should be like your pantry, but I mean, look how deep. So tons, tons of storage space. So not a toy hauler. However, you could haul toys just so long as they weren't as big as a golf cart or like a full size motorcycle. Um, but you have all this living area, although it's not a bunk room, you still have room to bring people with you and you still have tons of storage room for kayaks, bikes, toys, whatever you've got that you're trying to haul with you on top of all the cabinet spaces in this huge fifth wheel. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Solitude ST390RK on behalf of CamperReport.com. And one more time, I'd like to say thank you to Dodd RV in Yorktown, Virginia for letting us use their unit to do this tour. Until the next time you find us camping, guys, safe travels, y'all.